Okay, so after several days of working on my Coco 2 RGB to HDMI conversion, I've been corresponding uh, with Ian SB, Ian SB. He's, uh, in, he's involved in the RGB to HDMI project. Uh, he's the one who designed the analog board uh, that samples the YUV signals coming off the VDG here. And so he's been uh, giving me tips, uh, made recommendations, offered patches for me to try, and all this sort of stuff. And we finally have a working thing here. It looks really good. Unfortunately, I can't power the Raspberry Pi directly from the board. It's a little noisy, but if I power it from its own power supply, it looks great. Uh, the two changes we had to make to the board, I had to remove capacitor C59 and resistor R9. C59 is a capacitor that goes from the Y signal to ground and R9 is a resistor that goes from um, the artifacting, it was the artifacting into the uh, A, you know, the, the A channel that goes to ground. And remove those two and then it clears up and with the patches that he provided. But yeah, you can see it looks really good. It looks really nice. Let's look at the VDG green screen here. That looks, I mean, that looks excellent. That looks really, really nice. It looks very clean. Let me show one more game. I'm not gonna play it, but you can see that it looks really clean. It looks really good. Now this was really frustrating because uh, the RGB to HDMI board worked perfectly with my Coco 1. I barely had to do anything. And then you'd think it worked perfectly, you know, it's the same VDG chip, but no, um, there are differences. And it took me days and days and days of playing with it. But it's finally, you know, I can say this is a, a very clean working solution here. So yeah, I'm happy, this is good.